Today, you pick up a box of cereal and it talks to you about getting your essential fatty acids through the cereal, uh, particularly children's cereal and maybe formulas and these things. Yeah. I understand that there's some controversy about that and it could be pretty negative if people decided to begin relying on that. Well, to the extent that they think that they're getting their omega-3s and omega-6 fatty acids from cereals, where there could be a whisper of those things in there. Uh, but, but those are fundamentally carbohydrate products. They're not oils. Uh, you can't get any substantial amount. For breastfeeding, I think that's certainly far superior. Um, but that kind of fortification is good. I think we're going to start to see uh, with a new development from um, Monsanto, they have uh, genetically modified soybeans so that the soybean, which already has a little bit of the plant omega-3 in it, in soybean oil, about 7% of soybean oil is ALA, the plant omega-3. Um, they have produced a strain of, of, of soybeans that makes a, another omega-3 fatty acid. That's the next metabolic step up from ALA. Because when we eat ALA ourselves, it has to be, in order to provide the fish oil, turn into the fish oil omega-3, this has got to go through several metabolic steps. The first step is the biggest hurdle, in, and we, most of the ALA does not get past step one to get converted up to EPA. But what Monsanto's done is they have put the, taken genes from other plants and put them into soybeans and made the ALA that's naturally in soybeans go up over that it contains stearidonic acid, SDA. It's an 18 carbon, four double bond, omega-3 fatty acid. So SDA soybean oil, it's about, which has about 20% SDA. That oil, the SDA in that product is much more readily converted to EPA in vivo than ALA is. And so since about 80% of the oil we eat in America is soybean oil, if this oil gets into widespread use, which I'm sure was what Monsanto would like to do, they spent billions of dollars developing this, uh, they are going to want to see, uh, we will we'll actually see in America that the background level of omega-3 in the whole diet, because anything that's got soybean oil in it, which is a lot of foods, will have a little bit of this easily converted omega-3. So there are some very positive things That's going on on the uh, consumer available product. It's not going to it's not going to be a huge bump like eating fish every day by any means, but it's it's a little bit like a the old days when we started putting iodine in salt or vitamin A and D in milk or uh, folic acid in, in flour. These are federal fortification programs where we they said we need to get these nutrients into our people, put them into foods that people eat. So it's the same idea with this SDA oil from some Monsanto. It's going to just raise that background level of omega-3 a little bit for everybody, uh, which is a, it's a public health approach to raising omega-3 levels. And there's other things going on, too. Of course, they're trying to generate, genetically modify products to have actual EPA and DHA in them. That's not naturally there. So a lot of interest in this. Well, that's very encouraging, and I think we just need to understand our sources and realize that our doctor is our partner. Yes. And then to see that the people that we have influence on can take advantage of it, particularly those that are looking at having and raising children. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Thank you.